Welcome back to Financial Health for Noobs. I'm your host, Rashad. I really appreciate y'all joining me on this educational and informative journey. If you guys could be as so kind as to do me a favor, you see that like button that's in the corner right there, go ahead and hit a thumbs up for me. Simply tells YouTube that you guys are enjoying the video, pushes it up through the algorithm, and other people who might want to enjoy this free knowledge will be able to enjoy that. I appreciate that. So in my last video, I discussed credit payment history, which was 35% of your overall target credit score. Today, we're going to discuss amounts owed, which is 30% of your overall target credit score. You guys get it? Like the percentage is shrinking. Remember, we went back to, let's go back to fourth grade and we just do the pizza pie like we did, like we learned uh, out of 100%. You had credit payment history was 35%. And now we have amounts owed, which is 30%. There's only a... Only 35% piece of that pie yet, y'all. So that means we have credit mix left to do, new credit, and length of credit history. But don't worry, we're going to get into another video. Today, I'm going to tell you what an amount owed is, how amount owed affects your FICO score, and what you can do to keep your amount owed paid on time. All right, so let's jump into it. What is an amount owed, Rashawn? Simple, let me tell you. An amount owed is the total amount of money that you owe to a creditor and or lending institution. This includes any loans, credit cards, and other debt that you may have. And yes, that does mean school loans. Definitely means school loans. Your amount owed is calculated by adding up all of your debts and subtracting any payments that you have made. Uh, if you make a payment on a credit card or anything that goes to a financial institution that gets paid to a financial institution, and you pay it today, say you pay it today, and you go check it in 48 hours, maybe even 72 hours, don't panic. Don't freak out. Sometimes it takes up to 30 days for those transactions for that payment to be shown on your credit report. As long as you made it on time, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. How does an amount owed affect your FICO score? Well, let me tell you. Your FICO score is determined by five different factors. Remember, I just told you. One of which is your amount owed. The amount owed is the second most important factor in determining your FICO score. It makes up 30% of your score. Man, we just went over this. Credit payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, credit mix, new credit. Amount owed is the second biggest one. Got to watch what you spend, folks. You got to watch what you get. Like, you can't owe too much. If you owe too much, then it's going to be hard for lenders to want to give you anything because they're going to be like, wait a minute. He owes too much. Remember that I did a video on this just yesterday, uh, a short video, debt to income. Coming together now is, is right. All right. Your FICO score is calculated by looking at how much you owe compared to how much credit you have available. If you have a lot of debt and a low amount of credit avail available, a low available, a low amount of available credit. I can't speak today, y'all. It can negatively affect your score. You kind of get some drift like. Let me go over that again. If you have a lot of debt and a low amount of available credit, it can negatively affect your score. So if you have a credit card, if you have credit cards, say if you have five credit cards and each of them have a $1,000 credit limit and each of them um, out of that $1,000 credit limit, which is $5,000, you only have like say 50 to $75 on your credit that will add, that will and can adversely affect your credit score because that's credit utilization. Let's get into that for one second. Uh, hold on, do we get in? I, I do believe we talked about, hold on just one second. I might be wrong, please don't, won't be mad if I don't. How can you keep your amount paid on time? The best way to keep your amount paid on time is to make sure that you are making all of your payments on time. This means that you should pay off any loans, credit cards, and any debts that you have as soon as possible. You should also try to keep your credit utilization rate low. Ah, I was right. I told you I knew it was right. I studied the notes a little bit. This means that you should not use more than 30% of your available credit. Okay. So credit utilization measures how much credit you have um, for that certain, like it measures it per, per credit, like not credit card, but like, I guess per credit account that you have. Um, so if you have like an installment credit, um, installment loan with, uh, say K jewelers, um, I have a late, I have an account with K jewelers as you pay it off or as you spend more, like it goes back and forth. So as you pay it off, like more credit becomes available and that will potentially help your credit score shoot up because that's saying, Hey, he has more credit available. He's not maxing out his credit or she's not using all this credit. So let's go ahead and bump her up some, uh, let's go ahead and bump her credit score up, whatever the case, mm, whatever. Okay. If, for example, if you have a credit card limit with a thousand dollars, you should not more use more than $300, $300 of it. That's the rule of thumb. 
credit utilization is at 30%. Um, remember, each credit report has its own credit utilization. And then on your credit report, like as a whole, they, they take it all in the, talk all into um, account and to factor it all in. So if you say if you have five credit cards um, uh, and say, let's say the limit is 5,000 on each, but if you've only used 1,000 on each, that means you still have what, like 80% of your credit lit credit limit left. That's a good thing. You want to have that. Lenders typically don't like to see when you have high credit utilization um, and high debt, because that means to them that you're taking on more debt than you can handle. And you could be possibly you could possibly not have all the money to be able to pay back all of these loans or installment credit loan, whatever the case may be, uh, lines of credit, you may not have the money to pay it back. So they may deny you just on that strength alone. So remember, always keep your credit utilization at 30% or less. Just a recommendation. You don't have to listen to me. You know, I've had credit credit utilization as high as 106%. You're sitting like, what the hell, 106%? That means that my credit limit was over. So say I had a $500 credit limit, it was at like 525 because remember you have to factor in interest and all that good stuff, APR. So if you max your card out, just know they're going to, and you don't pay it off, they're going to hit you with that interest, whatever it is, some 26.9, 23.9, whatever the case may be. All right. Let me look at my notes, please, on your at. In conclusion, it's important to understand how an amount owed affects your FICO score so you can make your credit scores remain high. Again, the best way to keep your amount owed paid on time is to make sure that you are making all of your payments on time and to keep your credit. You will be learning today, you guys. An amount owed is 30% of your overall credit score. It is the second biggest determining factor in whether or not a lender or a financier will lend you out a loan or give you that line of credit. So remember, keep your credit utilization low. 30% or less. They really look at that stuff, you guys. And remember, let's keep it intelligent.